Welcome guys to the first episode on a new series of mine on how to create a horror game using the Godot engine. So what you see in the background is the game that we will be creating and it's a 3D first person shooter game where you start off in a maze uh, and in the maze you're constantly being chased by this thing and the only way to win the game is to avoid it and collect all the five orbs scattered around the maze. So let's give you guys a quick playthrough of the game to give you guys a grasp on what we will be creating. Alright guys, so in this first episode we will be creating the maze for our game. Uh, and this is done using the grid map node. And to use the grid map node we also need a mesh library with tiles. So we'll start off by creating that. So hit custom node and choose the node, the base node. And we can rename it to tiles. And we can go ahead and save it as well. So hit Control S, and in the rest folder we create a new folder called Utils or Source. In Source we can save tiles as well. So let's create a new mesh instance. And we can rename this to Wall. We can duplicate that and rename the other mesh instance to Floor. And in the wall mesh instance, we go ahead and give it a new cube mesh. We adjust the height of the wall to around 6. We also give it a spatial material and we adjust the albedo color to, let's say, a brownish dark color. And we also need to give the floor a mesh instance. We give it a cube mesh. Pass it a spatial materials as well, and we change the albedo to a lighter grayish color. And then we need to give the these two mesh instances a static body. Uh, so this is done by pressing the instance and hit this button here, mesh create convex static body and we need to do the same for the floor so now we are able to collide with these objects in in the game and we also need to convert this to a mesh library and this is done by hitting scene convert to mesh library and we go ahead and save it as well tile set mesh lib all right we can close this scene and now we create a new spatial node. We name it to level and we give it a grid map as well. And we pass the newly created mesh library to the grid map. Um, we can hit view, we can disable grid. We can also hit perspective, top view and perspective again and hit orthogonal. Now we can just go ahead and paint the maze with the walls, first of all. 
You can also hit shift and right click to remove. Let's just create a simple maze for now. Alright, so that is it for the walls. And then we hit this floor option and we give it a position of negative one and we hit floor and we just fill in the gaps. And now if we change back to perspective, you can see we have this nice looking maze. We save the scene, we can also give it a camera, adjust its position, and we can hit play. And there you go, there is our maze. So in the next episode we will be creating the player character. Until then, peace out!